Max, she's 12 pounds. <laughs> That's 12 and a half loaves and a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Dad, can I come to the bakery with you? Dad, but what are you talking about? Why do you want to learn how to bake challah? I love challah, Dad. Can't you teach me? Mum's tried every diet ever written. <clears throat> First was the Beverly Hills diet, the high protein, the low protein, the zone, the Israeli army diet, the Ethiopian desert diet. <laughs> the Adina and Patsy diet. <laughs> Mum said I was a natural performer. She said, it doesn't take much to get Debbie on stage. You open the refrigerator door, the light comes on and she's dancing. You fill me up on rice and then you expect me to eat all that goulash. I can't look at that goulash without wanting to vomit. You know I got a weak stomach. Stop sniveling, Debbie. I don't know what Judith was thinking. You had no business being there in the first place. Jews are wanderers, not campers. God, I'm obsessed. Not like the French. Don't you love how they carry on being totally French, as always? <laughs> oh, we oui, I eat the triple brie, I drink the red wine, I smoke three packs a day. Poof! In your face. <laughs> I just metabolized 2,000 calories while I was laughing. I am French. <laughs> I wear the teeny tiny clothes, or you think the French design the clothes for anyway? The French! Et voila! Size two batak, no hip, a teeny tiny pancake breast, and big forehead. <laughs> Sometimes people mistake me for my 12 year old son. <laughs> I'm not French. <laughs> I like your body the way it is, Debbie. But if you were 10 kilos less... Perfect. <laughs> oh my God, darling. What happened? You've changed. You look... <laughs> Listen, honey. I know exactly what you're going through. When I broke up, with Thurston, I went through the exact same thing. All I could do was eat. Honey, looking in you is like looking in the mirror. Don't know why there's no pants that fit my thigh. <laughs> Stuck together. It's a nightmare when I'm wearing leather. I'm crying all the time. I made a whole pan of buttermilk biscuits and I ate every one of them. Hmm? Oh, well, my problem begins with a very bad case of irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> Runs in the family. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself! To tell you the truth, I feel like an idiot sitting here whining about being hungry. I mean, how many people in this room have ever actually literally been hungry? I mean, my father knew what hunger meant. You know, after the liberation in Theresienstadt, okay, we were free, but we were starving. Some, some of the chappies were crazy for revenge, but others, they couldn't think of anything but food, but there was nothing to eat except butter. One chap, he couldn't stop himself. He gorged himself on butter. He ate so much butter, it killed him. I asked the Russian major, can you give us some bread? He said there wasn't any. I said, look, you got flour, you could bake bread. He said, nope, he couldn't spare the men. I said, all right. 
Give me some German POWs. They'll help me bake the bread. He said, you would bake bread with the gods who did these things to you? I said, listen, I'm hungry. You're hungry. They're hungry. So we baked the bread. I'm hungry, you're hungry, <laughs> so I baked the bread. Stop baby, you're making me hungry. Oh baby, I found something good round here for you to eat tonight.